What's up, YouTube? How's it going? Um, I just want to apologize first. I usually make videos a little bit more frequent, but um, I have uh, COVID and um, I'm just getting over it. So I just also want to apologize if you guys hear me coughing. Um, that's uh, I'm getting towards the end of my COVID, but I still have this like hanging cough that's just not going away. Um, but anyways, so this video is just about final thoughts on um, the LG G2 on the right versus the Samsung S95B right here on the left. Um, and um, I wanted to give it a little bit more time anyways to come up <coughs> with a final <coughs> thought because um, I wanted to give the G2 a fair chance or a fair, I should say, comparison uh, when it comes to this video. So, um, as I, I don't know if you guys were watching my previous videos or anything like that, but um, in those videos, I was telling everybody, and you'll see in the comments too, that um, night I, I usually game 95% of the time, and on top of that, uh, when I do game, I usually use the S95B when I do game, mostly um, over the G2 or the A95K that I also have. But um, so what I did was I stopped using the S95B and started using the G2 probably for about the past three weeks um, strong on the G2. And um, let me tell you guys, I'm glad I did that because I will say that um, when you do something like that, when you like switch it up and you kind of dedicate yourself to making sure that you only play on that TV, you really start to notice the difference um, between the two panels and uh they both have a completely different experience to them, so, um, and that's why I'm coming up with these final thoughts. So, um, number one, I've had the S95B since launch, and I've just had the G2 for about a couple months now. Um, so let me just tell you guys something. Um, here, I'm gonna actually play this in the background. I just wanna also, you know, just show you guys certain things about these two TVs. Um, number one is um, the uh, the motion processing on the G2. Let me just tell you guys something. You can't beat it. You just can't beat it. It's that simple. So um, a lot of people don't really prioritize or uh, actually let me take that back um when when most people look for a gaming tv i don't think that motion like the motion processing is like their number one priority i think uh i think um a lot of the time it's like the color the response time things like that um when you're playing and um you know, just like gaming features and capabilities, which these two TVs are both equal in all those perspectives, but they're not equal in a couple of perspectives. Number one would be the color saturation or the color space um, between the two. And number two would be the, the second thing would be the motion processing. And that's what I want to get into. So the motion processing in the G2, um, I think has truly officially taken over the entire industry. That's how good the motion processing is in this thing. It is elite, best, premium. It is whatever you want to call it. It's that. It is the best. Um, put it this way. Everyone here probably knows that Sony is known for their processing. 
or um, their emotion processing or they're, that they're the best at it. Nobody can beat them. They are known for that. That's what they have a reputation for. I have the Sony as well. And let me tell you, the LG's motion processing is better. And I'm not talking about like a little bit better. I'm talking about like better by a landslide. Like it is that good. Um, now, a lot of people are probably going to argue with me and saying there's no way, there's no way. The Sony's, Sony is top tier when it comes to that category, things like that. But <clears throat> I would most of the time agree with you. But in this G2 model, it is, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say besides it's just better. And uh, I don't know how LG did it, but thank you because they did it and they kept it at, at a more reasonable price point than um, Sony. But man, let me tell you. Nothing can beat the motion processing. It takes the gaming experience to a different level. And, um, you know, again, those are things that me personally, I didn't think were a priority because I never really had that type of experience before. And the crazy part is, is that I'm in, I've previously owned three other LG OLED TVs before one in 2017, and then two, I bought two CX models, a 77 and a 65. Um, and I think the one back in 2017 was the E7, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. But anyways, I should have known better than to just give all my heart to the S95B when it com came to gaming um, because of the QD OLED. I let the, uh, the hype kind of brainwash me like everybody else, things like that. Um, and don't get me wrong, it's still a sick TV. You can't you, you can't beat it in so many levels. But the overall experience goes to the G2 when it comes to gaming. Because, number one, um, both TVs have four 2.1 HDMI ports that run at 120. We all know that. Number two, both uh, TVs support VRR. G-Sync, FreeSync, you know, all the gaming features that you're looking for in a game. Um, but the advantage I would have to give the G2 because of that motion processing. It's just a different level. You can't beat it. Now, again, my overall personal experience between the two TVs, um, yes, the G2 definitely has the colors. Um, not as bright as the S95B, but look at how close these these are. Like, just look. I'll give you time. So, <coughs> look at how similar now they are. So when you create, <clears throat> when you set up your TV in such a way where the colors are so close, it, it almost, it's like, yeah, you can argue that the greens are more green, the yellows are more yellow, but then you go to the G2 and you can argue that it has more detail within the picture. Like it just has more detail. Um... So, you know, it all depends on what you're looking for. But here, I'm going to just show you this demo here. So you guys can see for yourself. Look at how similar and close the pictures are. Look at that. Look at how beautiful. All right. So now in my previous videos, I had a lot of pink. A lot of people were uh, kind of teaching me how to get rid of that pink. Thank you very much, by the way. Appreciate it. Um, so I made them as close as possible. There's going to be times like this where they're still going to look a little bit different. Like 
if you look, the gray is more white on the G2, that overall picture. This is more gray on the S95B on the left over here. All right, so let's continue to hit play. Look at how sick this picture is right here. I'm going to get closer, actually. All right, so the G2. Look at this. Look at that detail right there. I'm going to flip it over to the S95B. So it looks a little bit, I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks gorgeous. But I just feel like there's just more detail in the G2. Go back to the S95B. I mean, it's hard to really decide which way to go if you're just looking at strictly colors and things like that because everybody has a different priority when it comes to that, but I'm going to hit play. Oops. Sorry. So, now, watch this. All right, here we go. Check this out. If you look really close, you see like the building, you see the red in the middle? Like that's actually red, you know what I mean? Oh, it might look orange in the camera or burnt orange. It's actually red though. If you look over here, see how it kind of looks more orange? So my guess is that it's supposed to really look more like this like red you know not as much orange like this and the crazy part is is that most people would um choose the s95b because the s95b has the ability to have those those more punchy colors saturated colors and things like that but sometimes it also blows them out too um, where like the reds can look a little bit too orange or the green can look a little bit more neon, things like that. Um, a lot of people argue that when they're playing video games that they don't want color accuracy. They want colors to just pop. I will beg to differ in some ways only because when you're gaming, sometimes those colors can be a little too much. And then it's just like can strain your eyes or um, blow out the picture too much and lose detail, things like that um, on the colors that are next to those colors that are actually getting blown out. So I like a more even picture, to be honest with you. I do like a more natural look, um, and I do like uh, motion processing as far as the, your overall experience should go. That's just a personal opinion of mine. So, um, but in most cases, as you look, I mean, everything looks pretty much the same, you know? There's really not much to, uh, to really go back and forth. You know, you can you can get your settings on the S95B to look a little bit more natural if you want. Um, but the other way around, <coughs> to have the LG <coughs> um, try to have its colors pop more is a little bit harder to do because it doesn't have that QD technology. Um, it says W OLED instead. So, and um, the problem with that is that no matter what you do, no matter how bright you have the TV or how high you have the color saturation or you know color specs, um, it's not even going to get to that level of the QD OLED. Even with the QD OLED set to even lower numbers, like lower color tones. Uh, lower like the color I think is set somewhere in the 20s um, and the LG is set all the way up for color um, so that's uh, the 
the difference. And then the S95B definitely gets a little bit brighter too. I don't think it's really that much of a difference. Sometimes the brightness can actually kill you or kill a pitcher, but you know, that's uh that's a difference. But look at this right here. So like if you actually look at the detail in that picture, like look. The LG kind of has that and it's just the motion. Like I think the motion has a lot to do with the detail because the better the motion, the better you can see the detail. And then look like this one, you can see it's a little bit blown out. And this is with the colors toned down, guys. A lot toned down. And by the way, thank you for all your tips and stuff and helping me get rid of all the pink um, on the uh, in the settings. Um, it really helped me out a lot <clears throat> in the comment section, guys. That's what this whole video or this whole channel is all about. It's like literally for just like regular people to help each other out. And if you guys have any suggestions, any comments or anything like that, or if you guys are looking for any suggestions um, in the settings because you have any of these TVs, go into the comment section. I promise you guys, these guys that uh, these people who are leaving these uh, comments in the videos and stuff, um, I, you know, I encourage it. Because they are geniuses at this stuff. And um, they are truly God's gift to earth when it comes to this stuff. Because um, without them, I wouldn't really be able to even learn as fast as I'm learning about how to set up my TV. And I'll take a lot of their advice and then kind of tweak it my own way too on top of that. Which is amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. You're truly the best. Um, but here, I'm going to continue to just show you guys a little bit more of this, uh, sample here. I can't wait till this game comes out, by the way, you know, I'm going to buy it. And if you guys, uh, get it, let me know. We'll, uh, link up and play. Um, cause I love these, uh, street fighter games. I have ever since I was a kid. All right, so, um, all right, here we go. I'm sorry, not that part. There's another part coming up that I think I want to show you guys. Coming up right here. All right, so, um, <laughs> The re There's a lot of colors in this, so that's why I wanted to point this particular scene out. <coughs> so, like, the yellows are very close to each other right now. Um, if you actually look at him right there in the middle on the S95B, you see how, like, his skin tone is actually lighter than it is here in the LG. So me personally, I like the way it looks better here. I think he has more detail. It, the color looks better. Um, his skin tone looks better. The blue jacket looks better. Um, here kind of looks a little bit more cartoony, you know? And that's one of the things in my personal opinion that's a little bit of a downfall in the S95B in a lot of uh, situations is that... Um, Sometimes it's a little too much or the color and the the highlights and a little blown out and then it starts to make it look artificial. Even though, you know, this picture obviously is supposed to look artificial. But at the same time, you want it to still have detail and still look as realistic as possible within that type of picture. Uh, that, you know, that comic type of picture. But... Um, that's again, that's my personal opinion, which, so in this scene, what do you guys think? So, um, you know, some people would like the, the higher picture punch out of the S95B. So everyone's different, you know what I mean? Um,
Look at that. Amazing, right? So now, um, everything's just like changed for me because um, a lot of times I would pick the S95B over the uh, G2, but again, my overall experience is when it comes to like picture quality, yes. Uh, the S95B is there, but when it comes to detail, the G2 is there. When it comes to motion, the G2 is there. Um, the G2 also does have the Dolby Vision. Um, that's not a priority for me personally. I know it is a lot for other people, but I think because of the Dolby Vision, it gives you more of a 12-bit type of color space versus the 10-bit that the uh, S95B provides. Um, and I think because of that reason, you can see a little bit more detail too, but you know, that's also pending the game provides, uh, that type of, uh, color space anyways, or that type of software anyways, but yeah, um, you know, that's again, my personal opinion guys, um, the G2, I think overall experience is better than the S95B when it comes to gaming. And um, that's basically my, uh, you know, my my final thoughts um, when it comes to gaming. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any particular um, comparisons that you want me to do, please um, let me know because the only reason why I say that is because I don't know what you guys are actually thinking <laughs> Um I would like to like get more um, reactions, um, more comments, and uh, I would like to just know what people are thinking. And um, it helps. This is a type of community that everybody just helps each other. It's not something where somebody's trying to outsmart the other person or this or that. It's literally for good people to help other good people. And um, I want to thank you guys for that because without you guys, I wouldn't have learned half the stuff I've learned at the rate that I learned it at. And another thing is um, when you guys um, leave comments in the comment section, um, it also helps me learn how to tweak certain things to, uh, to make it look right. And um, this is the result of it right here. So I uh, just want to thank you so much. And um, you guys are truly the best. And um, I want to, you know, just thank you for everything. So um, I'm going to pause a couple of sections here just to show you guys some of the six scenes. Boom. So look at that slash mark right there. You see how, like, look at look at all the detail. But look at how the motion capturing just caught that, caught the sparks and caught, I mean, don't get me wrong. You can't go wrong either way, but like, it's a little bit more detailed in the G2. So, but what do you guys think? Um, do you like, <coughs> I'm sorry, do you like the G2 better or do you like the S95B better? What's your personal opinion? Um, I hope everybody stays safe for the holidays and um, I'm hoping that you guys all uh, enjoy this video and I hope you hit a like and I hope you leave a comment and I hope you subscribe too. Um, but again, if there's another video, another comparison you'd like me to do, please guys, let me know. I'm more than happy to, uh, to follow up. Um, I also have an A95K as well. That's more of my casual gamer but um, gaming TV. But anyways, let me know. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, appreciate it. And uh, peace out.